Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to any video. I want to you guys a good day. Thank you, thank you so much for your love and support. So, yeah, guys, update to the panel when it comes to ever since Mamma's and Bogas was shown. I get a good old double up and a good man. Good, the show must go on. You guys, yeah, so good. Um, she was the founder of the Crown Gospel Awards. So, I think a good one. You're going to take a Crown Gospel Awards. They will carry on. Even after Ugutlem Shaben Guhama Maki Uzanid and Bogas, you guys, Zan and Bogas and Cambodia to be honored at the next Crown Gospel Awards. So you don't have to have a the one you guys know me. I say, quick, who's a quick check working on seven? The only thing that the wins are you guys are quick at my crown gospel hours. So the panel is in fun to talk about getting a single but when it is almost a month since the passing of crown gospel hours founder as an edible guys, her family colleagues and friends have vowed that despite her departure from this world, they wish to continue her legacy and the way she has paved for gospel artists in the 16 years of the hours is existent. So so, okay, yeah. Now this was announced during a media briefing attended by her husband, Babu Bishop Bendulong Kambule, Crown Gospel Awards board members Temiso Mchale, Creative Director Usianda Mwanda, and a project manager Kunjabulo Shangas recently. So a year before her passing, Uzanele signed a seven year deal to host the uh, the then Deben based hours in Johannesburg. And that is what the committee now responsible for the hours will continue to do. These will be the best awards of all the time. The upcoming 17th Crown Gospel Hours will take place in November. Uzanele always emphasized that the crowns were bigger than her. The crowns have become an institution and not just an award ceremony. She was 100% correct. She is no more now, but we still continue having to continue without her is tough. It's a bittersweet moment just to take the button and continue when we have lost the founder but the show must go on indeed now when i look at the trace back um and trace back where we started i am in awe, having been part of it since 2008 we have grown bishop ngambule praised his late wife for the job that she has done it is unfamiliar tough to be here in the absence of uzanele but we are here to celebrate her legacy, keep her memory alive and celebrate her achievements. She was a phenomenal woman and the larger than life. She was a big dreamer and made things possible. She created things out of nothing. She had the ability to bring uh, the non-existence into being. I think that it is not easy, but who was the very first gospel artist to win an award when the ceremony was first started said uh is grateful that he's um Grateful the hours are still going ahead. Mom Zanelli gave us something special. At other hour ceremonies, we only had one category, but she came and gave us crowns. Uh, as artists, we uh, would fight over the crowns. We would even fight with Mom Zanelli when we didn't win, and she would call and resolve is in the okay. Um, he recalled the journey of the awards. We would fight mostly over the song of the year. Those are the beautiful moments of uh, all done in good faith. We wish to continue with the legacy and Mamuzaneli's vision. But the show must go on even after she is no more. But the show must go on even after she is no more. But the show and yeah, you have a cool cool table give video. Please remember to subscribe again or share and would like before you put me on. This is one of the food you can learn to live. Bye.